Hi everyone, this is Pranav. Uh, now we will be dealing with a problem called max profit. So the problem statement says that the price of a steel rod is generally a simple function of its length. However, requirements of companies also influence the price. If you are selling uh, rods to a company that has a preference for short rods and doesn't use too many long rods, the price distribution could look like this. So basically what is given here is a price distribution for various rod lengths. And if you have, uh, for this particular example, if you have a rod of length 5 meters, you would make a lot of a lot more money by cutting the rod and sell it, selling it as two rods, one of uh, length 3 meters and another of length 2 meters, then selling a single rod of length 5 meters. So it's pretty intuitive, right? So you can see here in the example, a uh, rod of length 5 has a price 3. But instead, if you cut this rod as a rod of length 3 and a rod of length 2, you could you know, get uh, two different prices, 20 and 20 and add them up to get a combined profit of 40 instead of just a simple profit of 3 by selling an entire rod. So that is what this question deals with. So you are asked to write a function named optimal cut that accepts the length of a rod and the price distribution as arguments. You are allowed to make at most one cut of the rod. So you are given a length of a rod and the corresponding price distributions as well. You are allowed to make only one cut. So you can cut the rod at only one place and divide it into two pieces. So these two pieces should give you the maximum profit. Yeah, so you are basically asked to return the maximum revenue that you can obtain with at, with at most one cut of the given rod. Assume that you can sell only rods of integer length. So you can't make a cut at uh, 3.5 and then 1.5 etc. So it's just integer lengths. And if the length of the rod is L, then the price dis distribution is given by a list L of size small l. So what this basically says is we'll look into it in a uh, deeper manner. Just understand that you are given a uh, rod of length L and the price distribution corresponding to it. And you are allowed to make only one cut and this cut should give you the maximum profit. So now we look into the given test case in a deeper manner. So you, we are given a sample input of uh, small l as 5 and capital L which is basically a list containing 5 elements. So what these 5 elements correspond to are, uh, the first element corresponds to uh, the profit when you sell a rod of length 1 meter, second element when you sell it as uh, a rod of length 2 meters, then 3 meters, 4 meters and a single rod of length 5 meters. So this is what the elements correspond to. So what you are asked to do is find a particular cut where you can you know maximize the profit. So here you know we will just take a uh, intuitive guess. Let us say you cut the rod at 2 meters. So when you cut a 5 meter rod at 2 meters length you get 2 pieces right. So one will be 2 meters the other will be 3 meters. So the profit corresponding to the rod of length 2 meters would be 20 and the profit corresponding to the rod of length 3 meters would also be 20. So now when you add them up you get a combined profit of 40. So and looking at this list, you know that 40 is the maximum sum you can obtain by combining two elements. So the corresponding output here is also given as 40. So now you know that, now you have an understanding of the problem, right? So we'll go into the more detailed explanation. So now we look into a more uh, deeper explanation. So the question gives you a rod of length 5 meters and the corresponding profit is 3, right? So we'll split this up as a 1 meter rod and then a 2 meter rod, I mean we are not exactly splitting it up, we are just you know uh, making a diagrammatic approach to this given input. So what this means to say is the first element corresponds to the profit when you sell the 5 meter rod in parts of 1 meters. So when you sell 1 meter portion of the rod you make a profit of 10, when you sell 2 meter portion of the rod you make a profit of 20, similarly 20 for 3 meters, 5 for 4 meters and 3 for an entire length of 5 meters. So as we already discussed, you would combine these two, that is by making a cut of the rod over here, let us say this is going to be your 3 meters and this is going to be your 2 meters. So now you can sell these two together and make a combined profit of 40. So hope you understood this uh, diagrammatic approach to the same question. Now we will look into the coding part. So let us now look at the coding part of this problem. So we will define a function called optimal underscore cut that takes as argument a rod of length L and a list capital L which stores the corresponding profits. So in our example we saw that the rod of uh, length 5 meters could be sold at 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter etc parts. So we want to store the corresponding profits in a dictionary. So that is what we will be doing here. So we will first create a dictionary called P. 
we will iterate through the length of L. So, we saw that the 0th element in L corresponds to a rod of length 1 meter and the first element in L corresponds to a rod of length 2 meters and so on up till n elements, right. So, where n be that is the last element being the rod of length L meters. So, for each uh, different length of the rod, we will store the profits in this dictionary and you know later use it to access them. So, what we will do is P of i plus 1 will be equal to L of i. So, we saw that i ranges from 0 up till L minus 1, but our rod lengths are from i plus 1 up till L, right. So, there is no rod of length 0 meters, uh, we will just start with 1 meter and the 0th element in L corresponds to the rod of length 1 meter. So, we will make P of i plus 1 equal to L of i. So, we will first arbitrarily assume that the maximum revenue is obtained when we sell the rod in the entire length L. So, we will give max rev equals P of L. So, one thing which we should note here is that when we want to you know find the profits while making a cut, let us say we are making a cut in a rod of length 5 meters. So, um, we could make the possible cuts as let us say uh, we have a 5 meter rod, we could make the cut at 1 and get 1 and 4 as 2 parts or as we saw we could make a cut at 2 and get 2 and 3 as 2 parts. Now, the catch here is when we cut the rod at 3, we are going to regenerate the same example as uh, 2, 3, right? 2, 3 is the same as 3, 2 because the profits are not going to be changed. This is also 20 and 20, this is also going to be 20 and 20. So, now we have an understanding that our iterations can just be up till L by 2, right? So, we can go up till half the length of the rod to find the uh, counterpart. So, when we get 2 as one part, we already know that L minus 2 is going to be the other part. When we have 1 as one part, we know L minus 1 is going to be the other part. So, that is what we will be using to iterate. So, now we will make the iterations. So, for cut in range of 1 comma L by 2 plus 1. So, we already discussed that we will be going up till length by 2. So, this will be our iteration range and for each cut we are going to find the revenue. So, what the revenue will be is, so we uh, when we cut it we get two parts, right? So, one will be the cut and the other one will be L minus cut. So, as we saw when cut is 2, the other part is L minus 2. So, we want to add the uh, combined, I mean you get the combined revenue of these two parts. So, how we will get it is P of cut plus P of L minus cut, right? So, the entire rod length is L and when you make a cut, you have a profit for that particular cut part and the profit for L minus cut part. So, we will be adding them to get the combined revenue and if this revenue is going to be greater than your assumed maximum revenue, then you change the max revenue and uh, as rev. Finally, you will just return max rev. So, let us run this sample test case which is already provided, print of uh, optimal underscore cut and your L is going to be 5 and the list we will just take it up from here. And let us run this code and get the output. So, we get the output as 40 that is what is expected by the uh, given sample output as well. So, that will be the solution to this problem. Thank you.